We're here at Ada Care at Erina and I've got Ali with me today. What have we got in front of us here? So this is our Metro X self-propel wheelchair. Right, and what are some of the key features of this wheelchair? So some of the key features in the name obviously, um, it's a self-propelled model, so we've got our users who are independent but and able to this ability here to push on. That's correct. Yep. We do also have nice attendant handles though with um, attendant operated brakes if they choose to use it that way. This chair um, is quite lightweight, it has a safe working load of 100 kilos which is quite significant for an aluminium lightweight, a lightweight chair. Lightweight chair. Yeah. Yep. Um, and it's a nice compact design so we can fold it down as well. Can you show us the fold feature? I Put sure you on the can. spot. Yeah, so we can really fold easy. it in half that way and we can fold the backrest down as well. So quite a suitable model for uh, taking out in the community, putting in and out of a car, whether that's loved one, family member, um, support workers, carers, being able to pop that in and out of a boot or even with the size of this in and out of a back seat really um, can be quite suitable and that foldable function, the ability to keep this close to you when moving, really important for manual handling, so some real key features there. Um, pop this back open. Any other things that we consider when prescribing and choosing this? They're quite a somewhat a simple piece of equipment, um, but yeah, from a clinical point of view, things that we consider. Yeah, I guess um, size is really important when we're measuring up wheelchairs, so that's definitely something we would consider. Environment, how long we're going to be spending in the chair. It has a nice padded backrest and yep. seat base. But certainly not a chair that somebody's going to spend a lot of time in. Um, but still has, you know, some, you know, comfort and, um, in terms of seated posture, etc. But it's certainly not something that somebody's spending all day moving around in. It's much more of like, I guess you would say, like a locomotion device getting from one area to another. Where then we've got much more complex wheelchairs um, that, you know, much more designed for spending a lot of time on. Day. Yeah, absolutely. Those are the ones that typically tend to be um, depth adjustable. We can add lots of accessories as well. Yep. Um, if someone's got pressure care concerns, we'd be adding a specialised cushion as well. Um, yeah, but this is a really lovely colour. It's a bit yep. different to your typical black or silver options that you do have, so it's yep. a nice funky colour for people to get out and about with. Yeah, awesome. Um, I am colour blind, so could you tell me what colour it is? <laughs> I can. So it's a, I guess you'd call it a metallic orange? Yeah, yeah. Does it come in, I actually am colour blind, um, does it come in other colours as well? So if this is a bit too fancy for me, could I um, go... So we do have a full range of other yep. manual wheelchairs that do come um, in other yep. colours. Because well, sometimes so that's... A, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Often we find from a clinical point of view, once we get all the clinical considerations right, and there's not a lot of clinical considerations with this type, but a therapist is often still involved with prescribing something like this a lot of the times. But often when we sort of tick all the clinical boxes and you're like, yes, this is the right piece of equipment, sometimes we then do move on to the hard hitting choices of colours and fabrics and different things so Absolutely. this could yeah very much be too loud in terms of a color for someone they might just want simple black um see that a lot with walkers as well yes yeah, yeah. i don't want that metallic blue walker i would just like a black carbon fiber walker please yeah. wonderful i don't think there's too much more to cover with this um being mindful of those key features of portability foldable lightweight and Usually the primary consideration here is if this is going in and out of a vehicle, what's the manual handling risks, mm -hmm. especially if you're an organisation with support workers and carers moving these devices in and out of cars, what's that procedure, how is it done in a safe manner, sometimes putting that in and out of a boot with sometimes a boot protector makes it very easy to pop on the knee and slide in, so they're probably sometimes more of the considerations there not so much all of um, the rest of the components um, of this chair. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah. All right, thanks so much for your time. We'll see you in the next video.